show you how to make a very easy, I guess you could say, um, sidebar around your Pokemon videos, or around any videos in that fact. Um, I'm using the program GIMP, and I'm going to make a diamond sidebar. So we're going to start out with File New, and we're going to make a image size of a width of 1280 by 720, which is an AT HD revolu resolution. Um, we're going to delete the background, because that's what I do. Then you're going to go online and find a like a wallpaper, a background, some sort of image you want in the back of behind your video. So I found one already and I'm going to open the layer. You want to find your destination of where you have stuff. Um, you can click over here to show your image eventually. Alright, I apologize. Okay, and it has loaded, so we're going to use this picture. Just double click it. And it will open eventually. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Alright, and here's our picture. So... What we want to do is, it works there, but if you want to resize it, you go over to this button. It's called the scale tool. You just can just click on it and move it back and stuff. So here we are. Um, I'm going to edit this because I know it's somebody else's and i got to add my own character to it. So go to colors. I usually go to color balance and like add an extra like color and stuff. Since I'm doing diamond, I think a bluish purple would be good. Maybe adding that. No, actually that's perfect. Alright, I'm gonna exit this. Sorry. You're just gonna have to listen to me talk and babble and stuff. Okay, so there's our picture. Okay, so we'll just go with that. Next you wanna add your text. So let's see, Pokemon Diamond Walkthrough. Um, you can size it over here. Don't size it up here, it just kind of screws things over. So size it over here. We'll go about that big. We don't need to change that. And then, dang it. And then go to your Move tool. Make sure you are clicked on the actual letter. And then you know you can put it anywhere you want. So we want to keep editing that. We can uh, change the font right here. Something fancy like this 8-bit looking stuff. But we're not playing an old game. It'll be a new game. So how about something fancy. Pokemon Diamond. Make this bigger to get your words to fit. We're going to keep with this gray because I think it, it works. But to change your color you can go like this but I liked the color so I'm going to stay with that. Um, next you want to add where your Pokemon are going to be. Um, usually I put items or something behind the Pokemon just to represent that's where all of them are going to go so I found a item online and saved it so I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it as a layer. Don't open a whole new thing. Just open it as a layer wait for it to load okay so there's our thing we're gonna size it how about that okay then you're gonna move it I'm gonna put it like right there and then you can do control copy or control C to copy it and then control V to paste it now you have two of them they're on top of each other now before you do anything else up here it'll say floating selection pasted layer you can't edit or do anything with that layer until you click new layer and that will officially make it a new layer so there you go make sure to do that I really got stuck when I tried to make mine and I because I didn't know that so make sure to name your layers let's see pokeball 2 so you know because when you have to come back in and 
uh, edit this for all your other videos, you know, you'll want to make sure that you have everything named. So we're just going to control V, new layer, move, control V, new layer, move, one, two, three, four, five, control V, new layer, move. Now you don't have to do this. You can make a new layer. Um, honestly, you don't want it that size. So. But you can make a new layer. Size it as big as the page if you want. Go up here, get this box, and you can just make a box to put your Pokemon in if that's what you want. What you'd go to is, let's see, okay, you want to go to edit and then you like fill with the foreground color and then you can put your Pokemon there. So I'll keep that there so we can show you. So here's our Pokeballs down here where our Pokemon's going to be. Now here's a site where you can get Pokemon sprites for free and you can just copy them and paste them onto your thing. It is called Pokey Sprites or PokeyStadium.com. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do Pikachu for an example. And since we're making a diamond and pearl one, I think this one's cute, so I'm gonna copy this one. They have the shiny ones, they have the normal sprites. This one would be for diamond, that one would be for, for pearl. And then they have the sprites uh when they're your Pokemon which is pretty cool. They have even the original ones down here. Gold, silver, black and white. You can also go to here and do like animated sprites. But I don't know how to make an animated sprite in the video, so I just go with game sprites. Okay, then you want to open GIMP back up. Um, then you want to control V, because you copied that. Make sure you make a new layer. And then you want to move your Pikachu and size it. To zoom in is control and scroll and it usually just follows your mouse so there. And there you go, there's there's Pikachu. Sticker by the Pokeball. Cool, very cool. Uh let's get a bigger one like Lugia. There we go, we'll have the pearl one. We'll control V, new layer, move it can be a lot of work at times, but I say it's worth it because it makes your videos look good. But there we go, there's our Lugia. Kind of too big for... There we go. You know, you can size it how you want, you can do whatever. I'm just showing you a quick way that I do it. I would spend more time on mine, but I'm sure you don't want to watch me do this for like a half hour. But okay, so we have that, or you can always just... Make sure to name your lead layers, Pika. You can also just get a box, stick them in there. You can do whatever, whatever you want. So there you go. Awesome. I'm going to delete this layer. Okay, now for badges. I don't know how you want to do your badges, but this is just the way I'm going to show you. Mostly so I can show you the site that I go to to get them. So there we go. We have badges. Kind of small to read, but we have it not badges in. Okay, then I go to the move tool, move it, and we'll put the badges over here. Now here's a site to go to when you're wanting a P or PNGs of the badges. It's called bulbapedia.com.net right here. I'll put the link in this, the description. But so we're going to go down. There's all the items if you want to use items. And then here's the badges. So it has all of the regions that have been made so far. So we'll get a coal badge. Even though that probably doesn't go with the game that we're doing. You control V. New layer. You move it. You can keep it at size or you can resize it a bit. I like to change things around, so there you go. Now, um, you can put like all the badges on there, you know, all that fun stuff. Control V, new. I won't, I won't put all the badges, but I'm just gonna put two for example. 
K. I know they're not the same size or anything, but there's two badges. Now let's say that you you don't have this one yet, but you have this one. So what you do to change the color is go to colors after you're on that selected layer. Go to colors. Uh, I think it's hue saturation. Yeah, and then just change the hue, the lightness, and the saturation all the way down. You can keep the lightness up, actually. Okay, all you have to do is actually change the saturation, put it all the way down, and then push OK. So now that gr badge is gray, representing that you don't have it. And then to bring the color back to the badge, when you achieve the badge, um, all you'd have to do is delete that layer, and then push this basket, and then go find that badge again and put it back on. Or That's how I do it anyway, because I don't know how to get the color back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, to cut out, like, you have to do a new layer. If you need to cut out where the video is, depending on your video editing system, um, you can do that, and you can just uh, do edit, and it's one of these. Edit, okay, clear, not clear. <laughs> edit, like, so it's background color. And that's where you'd put your video. You see? And you can resize it. Well, then you'd have to do that all over again, but edit for the background color. So yeah, that's where your video would go. Then you know you can you'd probably want these to be aligned. You can just it's a pretty easy program. So just once you get used to it, yeah. I'm not gonna mess with that. But that's it. There's We've made our thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. First, do save as. And you want to save it as an XCF file if you're going to be making more. Because once you save it, if you don't save it as an XCF and you just save it as a JPEG or a PNG or whatever, you're not going to be able to edit this again. You're going to have to make it all over. So make sure you do it as an XCF. Um, name it like Pokemon Diamond Original template and save it. So there you go. Now you can always come back and edit this. You can add your Pokemon once you just, all you have to do is copy the layers. It's pretty much the same thing. Now to put it onto a, like a video editing software or to put it with your videos, you want to do export and make sure it's a JPG, .jpg for JPEG. And then you can name it like uh, Pokemon Diamond Episode 1 because that is what will go with episode one. I have one already, so we're going to replace that. Then you want to export it. Um, you want to put it to the quality to 100, and then export. And there you go. Now you have your very own uh, sidebar for your Pokemon games, or whatever game you're going to do. I don't know what video editing software you use, so you'll have to use these options that go best with what you use. Alright then, thanks guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you next episode.